Well, good day viewers. Today we have a 2007 Honda Ridgeline. And I just got done changing the power steering hose that was leaking and the power steering was whining. I changed the stabilizer links because the valves and sockets were rusty and creaking. And I changed the front pads and rotors because of the brake rotors were warped and it had a pulsation on braking. But it has a noise when you're turning right or left, like a moan. I'd call it a moan. Moan, groan. So I'm going to show you what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm about to make a right turn out of my driveway. Moderate acceleration. Hmm, that's strange. Does it going right or left? Doesn't do it going straight ahead. acceleration only straight line it's fine I'm gonna go down to the intersection where I can make a continuous u-turn so I'm gonna make a circle here turning right hear that I'm sure. Let's back up and make a circle turning left. Oh, just about backed into the ditch. That was turning right. It's definitely worse turning right, but I heard it going to the left as well. That's strange. It only does it turning. the other day but I couldn't tell what was power steering wine it doesn't do it going straight in. oh wait a minute maybe it did let's try it under let's try stall testing it there is some kind of noise going straight forward too would it make a difference turning there is some kind of a noise going forward under a load but it's definitely worse when you're turning now this is an all-wheel drive hmm. okay so I'm about to make a left turn in my driveway Definitely. That's a strange noise. Well, a good Google search found a bulletin related to differential clutch noise. It's kind of like that. This TSB applies to 2003 and later Honda Pilot and 6 and later Ridge Lines. There's a noise and a judder, shake, vibration. There's a bit of a vibration from the rear when turning. Possible cause, the VTN4 differential fluid is contaminated by clutch wear, condensation, or both. Causes the clutches to make noise and to judder when turning. I wonder if we could put additive in it. A worn VTM4 fluid that has not been replaced at the recommended service interval can cause the same condition. Well, I suppose we could change the oil in the rear diff Hmm. Then it goes on to say, once you change the oil, go out and do 10 figure eights. 
and see if it eliminates the noise. So I did find that service bulletin at 04-040 dated August the 8th, 2008. Hmm. Well, I'm going to talk it over with the customer and see if we can drain the fluid and look at it and see if it's contaminated with water see if he's ever had it changed. This has got 148,000 miles on it, so I don't know. This is the first time I'm working on this vehicle. It's a new customer. Well, we'll see if I can find anything else. If not, we're going to do this. So we're back working on this ridge line. We're going to try changing the differential fluid. I got this specific differential fluid from Honda. VTM-4. Now the bulletin says it takes 5.6 quarts. Now it is a big differential, but I don't think it takes that much. That looks like the drain plug. It looks like it's been seeping a little bit. We're going to check the vent, make sure that the vent's not plugged. Where's the fill plug? Oh, up there. Well, that'll be fun. Okay, well, I'm going to catch the oil that's coming out of this thing in a clean white container. The fluid that's coming out of here looks like automatic transmission fluid. It's kind of pink in color. It's definitely not contaminated with... And I didn't get... This is a uh, four-liter jug here, and it's about one-third full. I didn't get six quarts out of it, or 5.6 quarts out of it. I wonder what color this... Honda fluid is. So there's a sample out of the new jug. It's definitely pink like automatic transmission fluid. This is a little bit darker, but it doesn't have water in it, that's for sure. Otherwise it would be milky. Look like a strawberry milkshake. So we're gonna let it drain for a few seconds here and then take the fill plug out and fill it up. So the drain plug actually has a magnet on it. I think that's a magnet, yeah that's it is. And there was no metal debris on it. I think I found out what was leaking. The fill plug was finger tight. I didn't have to use the wrench hardly at all. So this is what I use to fill things up like this. Sometimes I use this for automatic transmissions. It's just a repurposed uh, injector flushing tool from the 70s, early 80s from GM. Anyways, use compressed air to force the fluid in. I put uh, the four quarts in there, 3.78 liters. We'll see how much it takes. Well, the bulletin is definitely wrong. It doesn't take 5.6 quarts. It took about three and a half. So it's running out of the top of the, the bottom edge of the fill plug hole. So we're going to cap it off and take it for a road test. So the bulletin suggests to go out and do 10 figure eights or 10 turns to the right, 10 turns to the left with moderate low speed acceleration to work in the lubricant into the clutches. So we're going to do that. Well, I'm starting to get dizzy. But it seems to be already improved. And that's only about five turns to the to the right. I feel like I'm in a circus ride. Well, this person thinks I'm a little crazy. Well, that's 10 turns right and 10 turns left. And I'll be down, but there's no more noise. So we'll call this one fixed. Thanks for watching.